What's your first line? Hit it, Bob. I largely found my identity by becoming an entrepreneur. Opening a business helped me to feel like I was best contributing to my community. My businesses, Dino Drop-In, Explore Academy, and Opt Out, all work with children and families. That's why I'm thrilled to pass on the excitement of entrepreneurship to young people in Bozeman. The way our elementary and middle school, Opt Out, and other Acton Academy, uh, Acton models view the role of children in their education is an important distinction. We are heroes, and we go to school to discover our calling. We support this through experiential learning activities like the business fair. Even more exciting is that over 50,000 young people have built businesses and learned how they can impact their future through the communities and communities through entrepreneurship. Acton Business Fairs happen all over the world because we know that every child is capable of building great things. For the curriculum, each business builder has an e-ship or entrepreneurship at sea. We sail to a series of islands as we learn and build our business idea. We did this in school last year and, and at summer camp. Good job. The first island each learner sails to is Motivation Island. Here we learn about why we might want to start a business and what's going to keep us fueled up and excited as we en ch encounter challenges. I thought it would be fun to earn money. <laughs> what motivated Kaya was her favorite book, I Descent, a biography about the notorious Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She also loved art, so she combined the two passions by creating beautiful bookmarks and engaging her customers in dynamic conversations. Each e-ship then sails to Marketing Island. These two young men determined fishermen love catching fish, not waiting for fish to bite. So their business created hand-painted lures with the paint spiked with scents fish love. I learned that Selling snow cones was hard in the winter and on fast roads like Amsterdam. <laughs> I sold more on any street. High five. <laughs> Our learners' e-ships then sail to Identity Island. Building a logo in a world where children are selling merch on YouTube seems like a natural rite of passage. I think that my logo was colorful and creative. Like I mentioned earlier, founding my business really helped me develop my identity. Experiential learning has similar effects. Keaton has attended networking events and interacted with adults outside our family bubble, building his confidence and his community. Unit economics is my favorite memory of the e-ship quests. Orion was in second grade and would budget via Alexa. He wasn't yet adding decimals or dividing for math, but he knew how money worked. So he would just ask Alexa, what's 279 and 98 cents plus 2775 plus 3045? And once he got the total, he would divide it by the number of paper cones he had on order. <laughs> Pricing is another challenge. Our children highly value their hard work. So, no, so snow cones started out at 10 to $12 each. Prices. Just wait. Prices lowered over time. Good job. Hiring Island is another fun discussion. Oh. Hiring Island is another fun discussion with children. Their perspectives are so straightforward that we would sometimes muse that they should be hired out as HR consultants. They know culture comes first, and having someone fun to work with is a skill I can't teach. <laughs> Finally, our e-ships arrive on Competition Island. The children's smiles and innovation make them super attractive in neighborhoods or chatting with their parents' friends, but the competition gets real when all of the other business owners also have cute, toothless smiles. <laughs> Once our business ideas are ready, it's time for the pitch. My first pitch was to my mom to get a loan to get started. <laughs> After that, we're ready to show our stuff to everyone. 
including the sharks. For our pitch, for our pitch competition, we don't make it a kid thing. Karen, one of our sharks, is a highly sought out customer service business coach. Hannah is a sales coach and founder of the Multiplier Group, and Michaela is an entrepreneur and teacher. The stakes are high. We would be competing for a $100 bill that I won. <laughs> Which brings us to the day of the fair. Tents went up, tables got set, and all our learners were ready for customers. We collaborated with other creative entrepreneurs on the same day as the Northside Stroll. After chalking the walk and scouting buyers from the wild crumb line, we were set to sell. <laughs> the confidence and ability to know they can do it through trial and failure and success is something no one can take from them. And that agency is something they will have through any life challenge. This summer's fair is in the planning stages. We are currently gathering sponsorships, seeking partners, and meeting volunteers. If you'd like to join in for the fun or have a connection for us, we'd love to meet you. This, this event is 100% free for any child who would like to participate on Fair Day. Applications are open now. Please invite the young people you know to come and be heroes with us. I'll be in the lobby at an admission to answer any questions. 